Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing to my channel. Smash that like button for me. I appreciate you guys. Thank y'all for hanging out with me on this Friday. We got a lot to unpack today. Uh, we're going to cover some, a lot of territory. We're going to talk about this uh, plan that um, the 1% has set for us. And they want us to stay in this matrix that they've created for us. And there's a reason why. There's a reason why they want us trapped in this matrix for the rest of our life, right? From birth to grave, they want us in this matrix. There's a reason for that, and we're going to unpack that and talk a little bit about that. We're going to also talk a little bit about how to get out of this matrix, how to get yourself free, how to get yourself in a position where you can build wealth and control your own financial destiny. Take back your financial power. Have more time, more choices, more freedom in your life. But you have to free yourself from the matrix in order to do that. So we're going to unpack that and talk a little bit about that today. If you want up to 15 free stocks, Moomoo is going to give you up to 15 free stocks when you open a new Moomoo brokerage account. They're going to give you up to 15 free stocks just for trying out their brokerage app. When you put $100 in your new brokerage account, they're going to give you five free stocks. When you put $1,000 in your brokerage account, they're going to give you 15 free stocks. Now, this is a limited time offer, guys. So when you open your account, make your deposit so you can get these free stocks. And then you're going to be in a position to do what? Get ready to get yourself out of this matrix. Start building yourself some wealth. Right. That's the key. We, we, we have to start making moves and positioning ourselves to get out of this matrix and start building wealth so we can control our own time. We can add more freedom to our life and we can add more choices to our life. Right. So there is a link down in the description box of this video for that Moo Moo offer. If you're interested in it, go down to the description box, click on the Moo Moo link. Open up your Moo Moo account today. Go get that free stock. Go get that free money and start transitioning yourself out of the matrix. All right, let's let's dive into this plan that the one percent have for us. And and corporations, big corporations are a part of that one percent. Right. You got a lot of corporate greed out here, guys. Um, I can remember, I can remember 10 years ago, 15 years ago, when you could go to a restaurant, let's say one of your big boy, big chain restaurants, let's, let's just use Outback Steakhouse. And I'm not picking on Outback. Outback has been around for a long time. I'm not picking on them. I'm just using them as an example of this corporate greed, right? Of this 1% greed, right? This, this whole matrix that, that the 1% want to keep us in. 15 years ago, you could walk into a Outback Steakhouse, sit down, get a really good meal. I'm talking about good portions at a, at a reasonable cost. Walk out of that place and you'd be full and satisfied. You go into one of these restaurants now, man, and guess what they're doing? They're shrinking the plate shrinking it. 15 years ago, the plate was this big. Now they're shrinking the plate. It's sort of like a, a not even a plate anymore. It's like an oversized dish. It's not even a plate. But guess what they're doing? Less food. But what are they doing with the prices? Higher prices. Less food, higher prices. That's just one example of corporate greed. That's one example of the 1% greed. But see, when you're in the matrix, you don't realize that. 
You don't realize it when you're in the matrix. They're giving you less food, but they're charging you more money. Let's think about when you go to the grocery store. Think about some of your favorite snacks. Shrinking. Less snack, higher price. Corporate greed. But like I said, when you're in the matrix, you don't realize that. Let's think about the cars that you drive. Think about it, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, when you bought a car, that thing was like a tank. Nothing could go wrong with it. I mean, it was like a tank. Now you buy these cars, you don't have them one year and stuff go to breaking on them. They go to falling apart, right? Less car, higher price. It's just everything that we consume, guys, is shrinking. You're getting less service, but higher price. Why is that? Corporate greed, 1% greed. They got us in this matrix over here. And it's crazy that we don't see this. Everything's shrinking. All of our goods and services are shrinking, but the prices of our goods and services are doing what? Increasing. They're not shrinking. They're increasing in price, but the goods and services are shrinking. Corporate greed, right? Think about when you go to work. Here's a really, really good example of corporate greed. Remember back in the day, if you're my age, I'm 56, but I can remember back in the day when I started working in the early 90s, there was a such thing called a pension where the company who you worked for, hey, Richard, you give us 20 years, you give us 30 years, we're going to set you up for the rest of your life. We're going to give you a pension just as a, say, or a way of saying thank you. Guess what corporations have done with that pension thing? I'm talking about private corporations. I'm not talking about if you work for the government or you work for the state. Not that. I'm talking about private corporations, public companies, but private. They're not. When I say private, I don't mean they're not public companies. What I mean is they're not federal. They're not government. Right. Whether it be at the local level, the state level or, or the federal level. Right. They're, they're private, public companies. They can make their own rules. Guess what they started doing in the in the early 2000s, did away with the pensions. Guess what they did? They introduced this 401k thing. No one understood it, so no one did it. What is that? Corporate greed. They don't want to be responsible for giving you anything once you leave their employment. They put that back on you as an employee through what they call a 401k. And if you don't understand that 401k, if you're not really in tune to what's going on in the financial arena, you wouldn't have participated because I didn't participate until I learned. I worked for banks for several years without participating in anything because I didn't know what a 401k was. Just like many of you don't know what 401ks are or what they do, but that's corporate greed. Let's not give them pensions anymore. Let's take that away. We don't want to give them anything. Let's put the onus back on them to save for their own retirement. The problem is they got you trapped in the matrix. You don't understand what a 401k is. You don't understand what a Roth IRA is. You don't understand what a traditional IRA is. So guess what? What we do when we don't understand something? We shy away from it. We don't do it if we don't understand it. Corporations know that. That's corporate greed. That saves them from having to take care of you when you leave their employment. That's corporate greed, right? Give us more of you. Give us more hours, but we pay you less. That's corporate greed. Here's what I'm trying to get you guys to understand when I talk about this matrix thing. The matrix is here for a reason. 
The 1% put this matrix in place for a reason. Some of y'all might ask, well, Richard, what is the matrix? I don't know what, I don't know what no matrix is. It's a mindset. See, the matrix is a mindset that they've already been dripping on you since birth. Since you were born, they've been dripping on you this matrix mindset. Your parents probably had that matrix mindset. So guess what? You also get that matrix mindset. Also, when you go to school, elementary, middle, high school, college, guess what they teach you in that educational system? To do what? Get a job. That's part of the matrix. They don't teach you anything about building wealth and having financial independence. You don't get taught that in middle school. Is, is, is there a course on, hey guys, come on in here, open up your textbooks, and let's talk about how to be financially independent. You don't get that class in high school, middle school, college. You don't get that class. The class you get is how to live in the matrix mentally, how to go out and get a job. Why do they want you with a job? Why do they, why do they want you with a job? so that you can buy their goods and services. They want you to buy their goods and services. They want you to keep this economy going. But the only way they can keep you guys at bay and keep you buying stuff that you don't need is they gotta keep you in a matrix mindset. So they start when you're born. They start when you're born. Every television commercial you watch is doing what? Asking you for something. Asking you to spend something that you don't have. Every commercial. Give me one commercial that doesn't ask you to spend something or give something. See, that's that drip. They're dripping on you every single day of your life. They've been dripping on you. So by the time you get to be an adult, 18 years old, you're already in the matrix mindset wise. So what do you do? First thing you do when you 18 years old, you want to go out and get a job. That's the first thing most 18 year olds want to do. They want to go get a job so they can make their own money and spend their money how they want to spend it. But by that time, you're already in the matrix mindset wise. So now you're taking this money at 18 years old and doing what with it? Making the 1% wealthy, making these corporations wealthier. You're not taking that money and saying, you know something, I'm gonna go over here and make myself wealthy. You're not saying that. 99% of us don't say that. We say, hey, let's get this money and either I wanna move out, get out of my parents' house, I wanna go to college, I wanna start buying my own stuff, I want me a car. We want stuff. Why? Because from, from birth to 18, we've been in the matrix mindset. They've been dripping on us. We've been watching our parents, right? See, we learn from what we see. We don't learn from what people tell us. We learn from doing and what we see. So therefore, at 18, you are already in the matrix mindset. And these corporations and the 1% know that. Right? They know that. Because they don't teach us how to be independent. They don't teach us how to be independent. They teach us how to be dependent, not independent. Why would they want you to think independently? They don't because that ruins it for them. The only way they survive and live the lifestyle that they want to live, they got to have you thinking and be dependent on them, or at least think you're dependent on them. That's the matrix mindset, guys. That's the whole plan of the 1% is to keep you in the matrix mindset from birth to when you leave this place. That's where they want you. And they want you there because of your dollars. They want to control your dollars, how you spend those dollars. See, we are a nation of earners. We're just not a nation of people that keep what we earn. We're a nation of earners. Why? Because we have the, the, the best country in the world. 
We have a capitalistic society here where anybody can come here and become anything they want to be. Right? That's what we offer here in this country. The problem is most people are in this matrix mindset and they don't take these dollars and transition those dollars into assets that actually create wealth for them. They take their dollars and they transition that, those dollars into making someone else wealthy. That's the matrix. Remember, everything you buy is shrinking, but the price is going up. Think about the clothes that you buy. Think about if you're my age or a little bit younger, a little bit older. Think about 15 or 20 years ago when you bought something from a store, a piece of clothing. How long that piece of clothing lasts. It, 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 it just didn't fall apart after three or four washes. Now you go buy something and guess what? It will fall apart on you after four or five washes. It'll fall apart or discolor itself. Why? Everything they're selling you is, is, is getting smaller or it, it, it's poor quality. Why? Corporate greed. But you pay more for it. You pay more for it. Think about it. Just, just start thinking about these things, guys. Why are they doing that? Because they got you in the matrix. You don't know any better. No one has taught you anything better. They got you in this matrix here where they can give you something. It's, they can give you something that's inferior, but you'll pay more for it. That's the matrix. You got to free yourself out of that, guys. You got to stop allowing the 1% to manipulate you. Again, over here, you're, de you're, you're dependent over here, you're independent, but you don't get this independence unless you get yourself out of this matrix mindset. You have to. How do you get yourself out of the matrix mindset? You got to create assets that build wealth. That's how you get yourself out of the matrix mindset, guys. And that's easier said than done because, see, we have a history a history of being in the matrix. Our grandparents were in the matrix. Our parents were in the matrix. Now we're in the matrix. And, and, and our grandparents, when they were in the matrix, they provided them a pension. Maybe even your parents, when they were in the matrix, they provided them a pension. Now they ain't provide you nothing. If you don't understand how 401ks work, if you don't understand that you need to be saving for your own retirement, investing for your own retirement, you're going to be out of luck. Only thing you're going to have is Social Security. And guess what? That's part of the matrix too. Social Security is part of the matrix. Whether you believe it or not, it is. It's part of the matrix. See, they created Social Security to give you a false sense of security, financial security. See, they said to themselves, you know something, guys? We're going to take away these pensions. Now, pensions and Social Security have been around for a long time, but they knew they were going to take away the pensions because they just didn't want to give you guys money that you, you no longer earned. You didn't work for them anymore. They didn't want to do that anymore. But the Social Security thing, they, they, they started that back in 1935. They started that back in 1935. Social Security as a false sense of financial safety because it, the matrix, they wanted the matrix to continue to work. And, and, and that's the way they gave people confidence in the matrix is throwing Social Security out there. Ultimately, guys, here's ultimately what they're going to do. At some point, there won't be any Social Security. Ultimately, there won't be any Social Security, in my opinion. So then what are you going to do? What are you going to do when there is no Social Security and you have not built any wealth? What are you going to do? I don't care what age you are. What age you are. What if the 1% decide to take away Social Security? What would you do? How would you take care of yourself? 
for some of us. If that's what we are depending on when we get to the golden years, what will you do? Because you do know one part of the government wants to take it from you. Another part of the government doesn't want to take it from you. So they're fighting right now. Right? You got one part of the government that says corporate greed. It's taking over. Everything they're selling, you guys, they're shrinking it down and charging you more. That's one part of the government. The other part of the government says, so what? That's what our country is built on. It's built on capitalism. It's a doggy doggy world. You eat what you kill. Why should you police what a corporation does to its matrix? Why would you want to police what a corporation does to its matrix? If they want to give them less food and charge them more, why shouldn't they be able to do that? That's one part of our government and the other part is over here. Now, neither part is perfect. They both want something, guys. Both parts want something from you, right? Both parties want to control you. You get that, right? You're seeing that, right? Both of them want you in the matrix. They just want different things from you. Right? One wants to control you. One wants to take advantage of you. You understand that, right? Or am I the only one in this chat that understands that? One party wants to control you. One party wants to take advantage of you. You do understand that. Maybe you don't. That's why so many of us are in this matrix. We're fighting amongst each other for one of these parties to be controlled or taken advantage of. That's what we're fighting for. It's the matrix. They got you in the matrix. You think they have your best interest at heart. They don't. Neither one of them. And guess what? Both of them support corporate greed. But just in different ways. Right? Just in different ways. The only way you free yourself from any of this is you have to take control of your own financial destiny. You have to take back control of your financial power. I'm not saying we don't participate in this economy. We do. We just got to participate in the right economy. See, I've already told you guys, and I've spelled this out to you. You got two economies. You got a boom economy and you got a bust economy. And then you got the matrix. And then you got over here, financial freedom. Matrix, you're a consumer. Financial freedom, you're an investor. So you got two economies, boom or bust, right? And then you got the matrix, and then you got financial freedom. These four things work in connection. Typically, if you're a consumer, typically, if you're a consumer, you participate in the bust economy. What is the bust economy? Well, that's the economy where you work every day. You take your money. You spend it on things you don't need. You are in credit card debt. You're living paycheck to paycheck. You have no emergency fund. You have no retirement savings. You are not investing at all. You're barely making it. You're in the bust economy, right? If you're participating in the boom economy, you have assets that generate passive income that pay for all the things that you need to live. You control your time, your freedom, and your choices in life. That's the boom economy. These people are doing great. They got assets. They control their own financial destiny. 
right? They figured out a way to get themselves out of the matrix. They're over here being investors where they do what? Buy assets that build wealth. Consumers buy liabilities that keep them in debt. That's the difference between the two. The matrix, financial freedom. Consumers, they go buy liabilities that create debt. Over here as an investor, you buy assets that create wealth and you participate in the boom economy, not the bust economy. The ultimate goal of the 1% is to keep you dependent on them. That's their ultimate goal, to keep you dependent on them. They do not want you to be an investor where you become independent and you don't need them. They don't want you to do that. So they're going to do everything in their power to keep you in the matrix. All the propaganda keep you afraid and fearful of investing. That's their whole game plan. And to manipulate you from birth to grave. That's their mandate. The sad truth of the matter is most of us participate as consumers, most of us are in the matrix. Most of us are dependent on the 1%. So therefore, most of us participate in the bust economy. That's why a lot of us down here say to ourselves when we're participating in the bust economy, we say to ourselves, what are they talking about? GDP was 3% in 2000." 23 and the economy is, is, is booming and people are making money hand over fist. People are, you know, billionaires are selling stock at all time highs and, and, and cashing out and doing well. Everybody talking about this great economy that I'm, I'm listening to, but yet and still, I, I'm living paycheck to paycheck. I'm barely making ends meet because I keep telling you there are two economies. You're just living in the wrong economy. You're trapped in the matrix and you've not figured out how to move yourself from a consumer to an investor so that you could build assets that create wealth and you could participate in that boom economy. You're still down here in the bust economy. That's the trap. So you are saying to yourself, I'm not sure how the economy is doing so well. I'm not doing well. No, you're not going to do well. You're not going to do well until you figure out how to get yourself out of the matrix. You're not going to do well. You're going to always struggle. Financially, I mean. You're going to always struggle financially when you're in the matrix because that's what they've taught you to do. They've taught you to make your money and spend it. They have not taught you how to make your money and not spend it. They haven't taught you that. They don't teach you that in school. They teach you to get a job and spend your money. You deserve it. Don't delay gratification. You want instant gratification. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. Make that money and spend it on whatever you want to. Don't worry about tomorrow. Just live for today. That's the matrix. They want you to think you own everything, but in actuality, you own nothing. That's the matrix. That's why the majority of us participate in this bust economy, because we don't know any better. That's why we can go get, you know, pay high prices for inferior products or go buy stuff from the grocery store where they're shrinking down the amount of food that they're giving us, but they're charging us more money. That's why they can do that. Because they got you in the matrix. You don't know no better. You don't know there's another alternative. You don't. But it is. That alternative is to change the way you think. Stop allowing the 1% to manipulate you. Stop being dependent on the 1%. Oh, 
I'm not dependent on the 1%. What are you talking about? I ain't dependent on the 1%. Okay. 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 Get yourself up one morning and decide not to go to work. Just make that decision. I ain't going in. And see how long you last. See how long you last. Don't go to work one morning. Matter of fact, don't go to work for two weeks. Just sit home and do whatever you want to do. Don't even go in. Let's see how, how long you last when them paychecks stop coming. See, right there, guys, that'll tell you who you're dependent on. Just do that. If you don't believe you're dependent on the 1%, don't go to work. Don't go open your business up so you can sell products and services to whoever you sell them to. Don't open your business. Just shut the business down. Don't go in anymore. Don't go to work. Oh, I ain't in no matrix. I don't want to. They don't control me. I'm an independent thinker. I do my own thing. Okay, don't go to work. And we'll find out who actually controls your financial destiny. Don't go to work. That's a really, really fast way to figure out if you're in the matrix. I'm telling you guys, don't go to work. If you don't believe you're in the matrix, just don't go to work. If you don't believe you're in the matrix, don't make that car payment. Don't make it. Just don't make it. If you don't believe you're in the matrix, don't make that house payment, that mortgage payment. Don't make that student loan payment if you ain't in the matrix. And see what happens. We think we own everything, but we own nothing. That's the trick of the 1%. And we don't quite get that, some of us. We think we are independent thinkers and all this stuff we do, we do it because we want to. I got a choice. You do have a choice. The problem is you've been manipulated from birth. So you don't even know, honestly, on a conscious level, you're doing all of this. Because you've been manipulated since you were a baby to do one thing. Get a job, start a business, earn, and spend every dime you earn. Buying liabilities, buying liabilities that you think are assets, but they're really liabilities and they create what? Debt. That's what most Americans do. We earn income. We take that income. We spend it on liabilities that we think are assets, but they're really liabilities and it's just a bunch of debt. That's all it is. When we should be saying to ourselves, okay, how in the world do I get myself out of this matrix? How do I change my mindset? Because that's what the matrix is, guys. It's a mindset. It's a state of mind. How do I change and get myself out of the matrix? Here's how you do it. First thing you got to understand and admit to yourself that you're in the matrix that I have been spending money on things that I shouldn't be spending it on. See, that's the first step, guys. You have to acknowledge you've been taking your hard-earned money and spending it on stuff that you shouldn't be spending it on. That's the first step. If you will admit that, now you're ready to start transitioning yourself from a consumer living in the matrix to becoming an investor living in your own wealth. That's, what, that's the first step, right? Once you admit that, then you can start the process. Okay, I've admitted, yes, yes, I do take my money and I spend it on things that I shouldn't spend it on. Maybe I got a house that's too big that I really don't need. Maybe I'm driving around in a car that I really don't need. I really don't need it. I really don't have to pay 70, 80, $90,000 for a car to get from A to B. I really don't need that. I really don't need a five bedroom house. I really don't need that. I really don't need all these fancy clothes, the watches, the fancy trips, uh, the going out to eat 10, 15, 20 times a month. Maybe I don't need all of that. See, that's the first step. You have to admit that. If you can't admit that, you will never get out of the matrix. If you try to sit here and rationalize, well, golly, I gotta eat. I mean, I mean, shoot, I'm tired when I get home. I don't want to cook. I got to just stop and get me something to eat. It's easier. 
And, and honestly, you know, if I take my time that I'm saving from, from cooking at home and washing dishes and I, and I multiply that by, that's all crap. That's all that is. It's all rationalizing why you in the matrix. That's crap. You have no business going out to eat 10, 15 times a month when you are living paycheck to paycheck. You have no business going out to eat 10 or 15 times a month when you have high interest rate credit card debt. You have no business doing any of that if you don't have an emergency fund. But we rationalize it because we think we deserve that. Because we have to go do something that we should do anyways, which is work and earn. We want to pat ourselves on the back because we go out and make money to take care of ourselves. You don't get a pat on the back for that. You're supposed to do that. You don't get a pat on the back for that. You're supposed to take care of yourself. Right? But we want a pat on the back for taking care of ourselves. So guess what? I'm going to go out and buy this Louis bag. I'm going to go out and get this expensive whatever. I'm going to go buy this expensive car. I'm going to get this house that I really can't afford, but I'm going to get it anyways because I owe this to myself. I work hard, but yet and still, I got nothing to show for it but a bunch of liabilities and debt. That is the matrix. That's the, where they want you to live your entire life because if they can keep you there, whoo, man, they're going to continue to be wealthy. They're going to keep you right there thinking all of that stuff is important when it's not. It's not important, guys. It's not important. Do you want to live the rest of your life dependent on the 1%? You got to answer that question. And I've told you, for those of you who, I ain't, I ain't dependent on the 1%. I already told you the test. Stop working. Don't go to work. Just don't go to work and don't even tell them you ain't coming in. Don't go. And that will tell you in a couple of weeks if you depended on them or not. Because when them checks stop coming, they fire you and you ain't getting no more checks. Then let's see what you're going to do. See, most of us that's living in the matrix, we ain't got no assets. Not real assets. A lot of y'all, oh, I got assets. I got assets. My Pokemon car collection that from I've been collecting for 20 years, that's an asset. Mm -mm -mm. Does it produce income? Does your Pokemon car collection produce income on a reoccurring monthly basis without you doing anything? Does it? If it don't, then guess what? It ain't no asset. At best, it's a dead asset. Now, when you sell your little Pokemon car collection, you might get some money. Then it becomes an asset because it you got money. But why it sits in your in your in your in your in your your closet in your in your bedroom? It's not an asset, guys. If it doesn't produce income, see, assets produce income. For those of y'all that are not familiar with that, assets produce income. That's what assets do. If it ain't producing no income, it ain't no asset. And at best, it's a dead asset. Well, my house is an asset. I got $500,000 worth of equity in it. Good for you. But let me ask you a question. Is it producing any income? Does it put money in your pocket or does it take money out of your pocket? See, assets produce income, guys. Over here in the matrix, you don't have no assets. What you have is a bunch of liabilities that you think are assets because the 1% told you they're assets. Again, guys, you can say what you want to say. Oh, gold is an asset. Hey, guys, believe whatever you want, man. If that gold that you got in your little safe at your house, if it ain't producing no income, it's not a real asset yet. At best, it's a dead asset. And a dead asset is an asset that don't produce no income. I don't care. Go to your grocery store with your gold bar and get in the checkout line with a buggy full of groceries and give them one of them gold bars and see if they take it. Since it's such an asset. Give them one of them gold bars. Take one of your eagle gold coins in there and give it to the cashier at the grocery store. 
and see if they let you out of there with them groceries, with that, that, that eagle medallion, gold medallion you give them. I guarantee you they won't let you out of there with that. I guarantee you they won't take that as payment. You guys can't see the forest for the trees. It's not an asset unless it produces income, guys. I don't care if you got gold bars. Good for you. Ain't nobody going to accept them gold bars in your everyday life. Nobody. You ain't going to go to the car dealership and pay for no car with no gold bars. You're not going to the grocery store. You're not going to any retail store. You're not going to the movie theater. Netflix don't want your gold bars for your streaming service subscription fee. You can't pay for nothing with gold bars, guys. I don't know why. Who gold bar? Who cares? I don't care anything about gold bars. What I care about is, do I have assets that send me a check every month, direct deposit to my bank account so I can live my lifestyle? That's an asset. You think what you want to think. But I, last time I checked, ain't nobody going to take that $500,000 worth of equity in your house as payment for nothing. For nothing. Nothing. You can't go to the grocery store and say, oh, I got $500,000 worth of equity in my house. Can I get this $200 worth of grocery and I owe you? I'll give you an IOU. No, they don't want that. They want mucho dinero. They want payment in real hard money. So here's the deal. Matrix. See, this is how they get you. Matrix, you think. These assets that you have are worth something. Maybe they are, but they're only worth something if you sell it. You got to go find a buyer. Yeah, you got to go find a buyer. So, so that $500,000 worth of equity you got in your house, guess what? Until you find a buyer for that house, it's a dead asset. Until you put a tenant in that house and rent it out where you're getting monthly income, weekly income from those tenants, it's a dead asset. Until you can take those gold bars and go somewhere and exchange them for cash, it's a dead asset. Dead asset. I'm into assets that are alive and producing income. Businesses, real estate for income, paper assets. That's it. Anything else you're buying and it don't produce no income, it's a dead asset, guys, at best. But see, most of us think we got assets, but they're really liabilities. Oh, my car. That's an asset. It's worth $30,000 and I owe 10. It's, worth, it's an asset. Well, maybe it is, maybe it's not. Again, you got to go find somebody to buy that car from you at 30K. I doubt you will. I doubt you will. No car dealership is going to give you retail for it because they got to sell it for retail. So they're going to give you wholesale. So they're going to give you 30K. They may give you 15. So now this $30,000 asset you had, it's really a $15,000 asset. You owe 10, so you get five grand back. That ain't enough to take care of you, man. My, my, my point here is you got to get yourself out of the matrix and start investing in assets that actually create passive income on a reoccurring basis. You got to do everything you can to build assets so when you get to, the, to, the, to your destination, you have enough of those assets that generate enough income to take care of you. That's how you get out of the matrix. That's how you get out of the matrix. Now, if you don't want to pay that price, stay in the matrix. They'd love to keep you. Trust me, they'll love to keep you. They'd love for you to continue out there earning, busting your butt every single day earning and spending it to make them more wealthy. They love that. They love flying around in their private jets that are financed by you. They love living in their great, beautiful, palatial mansions all around the world financed and provided by you. They love it. They love it. They love all of their exotic vacations. Sending their kids to the best schools in the world. All financed and provided by you. They love it. So stay in the matrix if that's where you want to stay. 
But, but for those of you who want to get out of the matrix and move yourself over here to freedom, hey man, you got a choice to make. What are you going to do with this money that you're earning going forward? Are you going to change your behavior with money and start positioning that money in assets that actually build wealth for you, not the 1%? That's the question. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Because their plan is to keep you broke and in the matrix for your entire life. That's their plan. And neither one of these government bodies or these political parties are going to save you. Now party going to save you, not one of them. Because one of them wants to control you and the other one wants to take advantage of you. So where are you going to turn? What are you going to do? You're going to, oh, oh, I'm going to vote for this guy because he's going to save me. That's our problem. That's why most of us in the matrix, we're looking for somebody to save us. We, got, we, 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 we see these people and we think they got a Superman cape with a big old S on their chest. Like they're going to save us. These people don't care nothing about you, man. These people have their own agenda. They're part of the 1%. They have their own agenda. They're just using you to get to that agenda. Trust me. They care nothing about you. Nothing about you. This is the truth. And I know a lot of us don't want to hear the truth, but it's the truth. Like I said, these, these, these political parties have their own agenda. Like I said, one of them want to control you. One of them want to take advantage of you. You pick which one it is. I, 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 that's on you. But those are the two mandates. Let's control them and move them around and do what we need to do with them to get our agenda up, uh, 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 going. Or, hey, let's go ahead and take advantage of them so we can continue to make as much money as we can make and be free to do whatever we want to do. Let's keep them in the matrix. Let's keep them concerned about issues that they have no control over. When we all know the 1%, well, we all don't know that, but the one, of the, the one of us who have gotten ourselves out of the matrix and over here, we know who controls this country. And again, we got the greatest country on the planet. Greatest country on the planet, but you got to know what's happening on this or in this country. You got to know what's happening. They, 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 listen, the general population, they care nothing about you. Just telling you guys, the general population, they care nothing about you. And once you know that and accept that and go get rich anyways and go get, get wealthy anyways, the better off you're going to be. And again, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I did what I needed to do. I know exactly what they want from me. I just decided not to give it to them. That's all. I know exactly what they want from me. I know they don't care anything about my little black self. Nothing at all. They don't care nothing about me. And I know that. So guess what? I'm going to care about me. See, I don't need them to care about me. I care about me. I care about me and I care about my family. That's all I need. And the ability to get out here and create money Put it in an See, the assets that I invest in, they don't care what color I am. They don't care if I'm poor, middle class, rich. They don't care. These assets that I invest in don't care what color I am. They don't care how old I am. They don't care if I'm man or female. They don't care if I'm transgender. They don't care if I'm gay, straight. They don't care. Not the investments that I invest in. They don't care. I love that. They don't care. All they care about is, do you want to control your freedom? Do you want to control your time? Do you want to have more choices? That's all they care about. And I said, yeah, I want all of those things. Well, here's what you do. Take your money. Don't spend it to make the 1% wealthy, but take it and put it in this asset right here and be patient. Do it month after month, year after year, patient. And you'll have everything you've ever wanted in this life. You'll have everything you've ever wanted in this life. More time, more freedom, more choices. 
And guess what? The cherry on top of the ice cream sundae. I'm not in the matrix no more. I'm not being controlled. I'm not being manipulated. I'm not being taken advantage of. None of that. Why? Because I have my own assets that generate income to take care of me. That's it. That's all I need. I've already told you the investments that I invest in do not care about anything but putting your money in there and multiplying it. That's all they care about. So all this, oh, well, uh, I'm black and, uh, you know, the man, he got it against me. And, uh, uh, yep, uh, my people don't know nothing about my. Can't use them excuses no more, guys. We cannot use those excuses no more. For us black folks who are on this chat or going to watch this video, hey, we can't use that excuse no more, man. We cannot blame anybody else anymore, man. Not in 2024. Now, what our ancestors went through, that was different. We'll never forget that. We'll always keep that in our heart. But we can't use that no more, man. I've already told you these assets don't care what color you are. They don't care what your, your, your sexual orientation is. They don't care how old you are. They don't care if you're, if you're whatever. They don't care. All they care is, can you be disciplined? Can you be consistent? And can you be patient? That's all those investments care about. Because if you can do those three things, sky's the limit. You can have whatever you want to have in this, in this country. You can have anything you want to have if you have those three things going for you. And then these other four things, living on less than what you make, live on a financial plan, which is a personal budget, stay out of consumer debt, save and invest with these three things, these seven things, man, come on, bro. I don't, boy, I don't care. I don't care what your background is. If you do those seven things, <laughs> you can have anything you want in this life, man. Anything you want. Anything you want. But see, the matrix, the 1%, they do not want you to know about that. They don't want you to know about that. They don't want you to follow these seven, you know, three financial behaviors, four financial principles. They don't want you to follow that. Mm -mm. Because if you start following that, you're going to leave the matrix. You're going to become, you're going to, you become less of a consumer, less of a consumer, and all of a sudden, you won't even be a consumer no more. You'll be an investor. Or you're doing what? Buying assets to build wealth instead of buying liabilities to create debt. That's the difference. When you're in the matrix, you're buying liabilities to create debt. When you're out of the matrix and you're over here in financial freedom, you're buying assets to create wealth. It's a big difference. You don't participate in the bust economy anymore. You participate in the boom economy. You're following me. That's the, that's, that's the whole process. The process is to get yourself out of this matrix. People around here shrinking the products, shrinking the food, and charging you more, and you don't even know it. You ain't even paying attention. You ain't even paying attention. Car prices, done, used car prices done went up by 40% in two years. You ain't even paying attention. Interest rates then went from zero to five and a half percent. Fed funds rate then went from zero to five and a half percent over a two year period. Y'all ain't even paying attention. You don't even know what that means. Guys, we better, we, I'm telling you, we better wake up here. For those of you who think this thing gonna get better, it's not, it's gonna get worse. These people gonna get greedier. I keep telling y'all the wealth gap in this country is widening. It's not narrowing, it's widening. These people are gonna take everything you own. They're gonna take everything you own. Everything. If you're okay with that, stay in the matrix. If you're okay with it, stay in the matrix. You okay with them taking everything you own, every piece of you, stay in the matrix. We talk a lot about generational wealth, right? 
we talk a lot about generational wealth on in this in our community. But yet and still, we're not willing to pay the price to have generational wealth. We rather spend our time talking about reparations. And again, I'm not for or against reparations, guys. I'm just telling you that's the trap. Because you do know these people will never give you reparations. Ever. They will blow this planet up into little bitty tiny pieces before they give you reparations for anything that happened 400 years ago. So why do we, why do we get caught up in this? It's a trap. My reparations are this. Here are my reparations. I get the ability to go out here and earn. I can take what I earn. Decide not to make the 1% wealthy. Decide to put it in assets to build wealth for me and my family. That's my reparation. I cannot worry about something that happened 400 years ago other than, other than, other than, other than to know my history and to know where we came from and to know that my forefathers and foremothers built this country for me. They built this country so that I could take my money and do whatever I want to do with it and be free. That's what they gave me. That's all I needed. Because I could have been in slavery too. I could be in slavery right now if it wasn't for them. That's all the reparations I need. I don't need any more reparations than that. They gave me freedom. They gave us freedom. They gave us freedom to be able to do whatever we want to do in this country. Is this country fair? No. But no country is fair. And no country has been fair since the beginning of time. It's not. Life ain't fair, guys. But you know something? My ancestors paid the price so that I could be in my position where I'm in today, in this country, and be totally free, both physically, mentally, and financially. You believe whatever you want to believe. I'm telling you what I believe. And on this YouTube channel, I get to tell you what I believe, guys. Create your own YouTube channel. You can tell people what you believe. But on this channel, I get to tell people what I believe. Whether you agree with it or not, that's on you. But on this YouTube channel, I get to tell people what I believe. I get to give my opinion. Those of you who want to tell your opinion, start your YouTube channel. Then you can tell your side of the story. But I'm going to tell what I believe is important to my audience. Because remember, this is my audience. These people rock with me because they know I'm gonna give it to them straight. Now, it's my opinion. They don't have to agree with what I say, but it's my opinion. I say most of us are in the matrix and we can get out of the matrix, but we gotta stop looking for all these excuses to stay in the matrix. A lot of us want to look for excuses to stay in the matrix and just continue this bad financial behavior over and over and over. Oh, well, well I'm going to stay here, though. I'm going to just keep doing it. It'll get better at some point. No, it's not. It gets better when you make it better. You do understand that, right? It don't get better until you make it better. There is nobody coming to save you. There was nobody coming to save me. When I was 26 years old, bad credit, dead broke, no job, three babies, three baby girls. Do you really believe I was going to allow my baby girls to see their father fail? I wasn't. I wasn't going to do that. I don't know what your, what your thing is. I don't know what your, I don't know what your, your compelling reason is. 
I don't know what's important to you. But you better find something that's more important than your fear. Because a lot of people stay in the matrix because of their fear. They stay in the matrix because of their fear. They stay in the matrix because they want somebody to come save them. Come save me. Ain't nobody coming to save you but you. Once you get that straight in your filter system, once you understand that in your filter system that ain't nobody coming to save you, then you, you better off. You better off if you can find that out and, 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 and reconcile that in your filter system, guys. No one's coming to save you. Nobody. No one came to save me, at least. I was 26 years old. No job, like I said, bad credit. Didn't have no financial literacy. No one came to save me. But me. I saved me. God saved me. My family saved me. Because there was no way I was going to have my kids look at their dad and say, hey, whew, he gave up. He gave up. He let life beat him. He let the 1% beat him. They're not going to do what you tell them to do. They're going to do what they see you do. Just a little FYI. They're not going to do what you tell them to do. They're going to do what they see you do. So you better be setting a good example, guys. You better be setting a good example. Me personally, I'm going to do everything in my power to set a good example for my kids. I'm not perfect, but they know I strive to set a good example every day for them. They know I love them. See, this ain't about money, guys. I keep telling y'all this financial freedom thing is not, to, for me at least, it's not about money. It's about freedom. It's about choices. It's about time. But money is just a, a, a bridge to get me to my lifestyle that provides those three things. The money is a bridge. The money is a tool. Right? It's just a tool. It serves no purpose other than to get me to my lifestyle. It's a medium of exchange. That's all money is. A medium of exchange. The question is, what are you exchanging your money for? Are you exchanging your money to make the 1% wealthy? Is that where your medium exchange happens? Oh, I made this money. Let me just give it to the 1%. Let me go buy this crap I don't need. I don't know. You got to answer that question. I know where my money goes. My money goes into assets that generate income. And that income does what? Pays for my lifestyle. That way I control 100% of my time. I have more choices in my life and I have freedom. Trapped in this matrix, you'll never have financial freedom. Ever. Somebody else will control your financial freedom. Somebody else will control your financial freedom. You won't control it. You will never control your financial freedom if you're in the matrix. If you want to control your financial freedom, you got to come over here and become an investor. And take the money that you earn. Listen, guys, I don't know if y'all can see what's going on in this chat, but guys, listen, if you're in the chat, don't let these clowns come in here and try and rip you off, man. I, I, I'm not very sophisticated when it comes to setting up these live streams and who can see what and who can't see what. All I can tell you guys is don't let these scoundrels come in here, man, and, and, and try and rip you off. It ain't worth it. I already told y'all guys. Never send any money to these clowns that are on the internet telling you what they are and what their qualifications are. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's a scam. Don't do it. These people are just grifters. They're confidence men and women. They're confidence men and women and grifters. 
They take advantage of people. They have no morals. They have no morals. They're just greedy. They're parasites. So just please, don't send people money over the internet. Please. They are parasites. And I hate that it happens, but it is a part of the social media thing. It is. All I can do is just tell people to please be careful. Be good stewards of your money. Don't send these people. Don't try to look for shortcuts. You can't get the financial freedom through shortcuts. I, hey, you, you cannot get to financial freedom through shortcuts. Don't allow these people to come in to the, to the, the, the chat. Don't let them come in to the comment section when this goes live video and scam you. Richard Fain ain't got nothing to do with that. So don't email me if you're not listening and you do something you're not supposed to do, please don't email me. Because I, I, I warn you guys every day at the front of every video, I, I warn you about these scammers. Every video, I tell you guys this. In the beginning of every video, please watch out for scammers. They're parasites. I can't control them. Nor am I going to try to control them. I don't have all day to be trying to report people and all. I'm not doing it. I'm telling you now. And I tell you at the beginning of every video. Do not fall for these tricks of these scammers. Nobody worth two cents ain't going to be sliding in your DMs trying to do investments for you. I wouldn't want nobody like that trying to do investments. For me. This is the way you get your clients. It's sliding into people's DMs or putting crazy stuff down in comment sections or coming in someone's chat. I, I wouldn't invest with anybody like that. So please be careful, guys. Please be careful. Don't get yourself taken advantage of. Stay away from anything that sounds too good to be true. It probably is too good to be true. Right? So please don't, don't get yourself scammed messing around with these clowns. We're going to wrap this thing up, guys. Here's the deal. And then I'm going I'm to I'm wrap this thing up. I appreciate y'all rocking with me. If you want to change something in your life, it starts now. It starts today. You have to make a conscious decision in order to put yourself in a position so that you can get out of this matrix and move yourself over here to financial freedom. You gotta make a conscious decision. It's up to you. There are no excuses. I don't care if you're man, woman, black, white, I don't care. I told you these assets don't care anything about that. All these assets care about is, do you have the income to consistently put it in and wait? That's all they care about. That's it. So if you can do that, you can build wealth. You don't need to be no expert. I get emails all the time. Hey, hey, I'm just getting started, but I, I barely understand anything. If you understand how to watch a video and look at the three investments I told you to consider, then that's all you need to know. I don't know what else you need to know. I, 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 I'm confused by it. I don't know what else I need to know. I shouldn't, I, that's it. I want to look at these three investments, copy my plan, look at my plan, do the research on them, pull them up, go to Google, pull these investments up and take a look at the historical track record. How do I do that? Pretty easy. Go to Google, go to the search bar, put in SPLG, poof, it comes up. And then all you got to do is read. That's it. What am I looking for? I'm looking for the one year return. I'm looking for the five year return. I'm looking for the 10 year return. Why? Why am I looking for the 10 year return? Because it's a 10 year blueprint. It's a 10 year blueprint. My blueprint is a 10 year wealth transfer blueprint. So I would want to know what the historical 10 year rate of return has been since I got 10 years to go. That's all. You don't need to know anything else, in my opinion. Now, if you want to learn more, go right ahead. But I can't teach you any more than that. Because you got to understand, guys, I'm not here to be some stock market expert. That's not what my channel is about. My channel is about mindset. 
My channel is about helping people change the way they think about money. It's not to be a stock market expert. It's not to be a cryptocurrency expert. It's not to be a real estate guru. It's not, it's not to be a business funding. This is how you get business funding guru. That's, my channel is not about that. My channel is about helping people change the way they think about money so they can get out of this matrix and get to freedom. That's it. That's what the channel's about. That's what you're going to hear every day if you, come, if you tune in. I'm no expert at nothing. Never claim to be. But I do have experience in all of those things I just mentioned. I've used all of those things I just mentioned to build wealth. Real estate investing for income. Used it a bunch for 25 years. Businesses, using them. Right now, as we speak, RL Financial Consulting, that's my business. Killing it. Killing it. Not because I'm some smart guy. I'm killing it because guess what? I got something that's bigger than me over here, more important to me than my fear. See, I got something that's more important to me in my life than fear. So guess what? I do it anyways. I don't care if I'm afraid I'm going to do it anyways. What's the worst thing can happen? I fail. So what? I get back up and do it again. Who cares? I don't care if I fail. I get back up and do it again. What's wrong with that attitude? And then the stock market, paper assets. My plan is pretty simple, guys. Over the next 10 years, I'm investing three assets. Bingo. SPLG, FTEC, Magnificent Seven. Poof, that's it. But I guarantee you, if you go look at them, they got a pretty good history of multiplying money. See, that's not being an expert. That's just saying, okay, I've identified three investments that have a historical track record of winning. I'm just going to put my money in those. That's not being an expert. I don't need to do, what do I need to know? What else do I need to know? I don't need to know everything about the S&P 500 index. I don't need to know the exact date it started. Uh, I don't need to know all of that. What I do need to know is, is what has been the 10 year rate of return on the S&P 500? That I do need to know. Because that's gonna give me some indication if it can do that in the next 10 years which I believe it can. I believe it can go from 5,000 points to 10,000 points. That's what I believe. You believe whatever you want to. If you want to get caught up on the details over here and trying to be the expert, you're going to stay in the matrix. You're going to stay in the matrix. I'm telling you, because that's fear. I can tell when people are afraid because they, they make all these excuses to stay in the matrix when all they got to do is do what? Jump out of the matrix and go do the things that they need to do to build well. If you want to, follow my plan. If you don't know what my plan is, there's an email address down in the description box. Send me an email and say, hey, Richard, what's your plan? Give me the video that outlines your three investments you're buying, your plan. And I'll send it to you. I don't need no money from you. No, I don't need, you to, I don't need any money from you. I don't take money from people to invest for them. I don't do that. I don't do that. I don't take money from you to invest for you. I don't invest money for anybody but me. So if anybody reaches out to you and says they're Richard Fain, hey, have you heard about this? And here's, an, here, here, here's the, the latest scam, just for you guys here in the chat and who will be watching this video down the, down the road. Here's the latest scam. So you know I'm using Moomoo as my brokerage app, and I was using Weeble as my brokerage app. I got both of them. I use both of them. But Moomoo is my primary one. So now the scam is this. They come in your DM and say, well, how's Moomoo going? Huh? Come on, guys. <laughs> I mean, when have I slid into anybody's DM and said, it just don't happen. See, they're, they're using that to get you to think that they're me, and then they try to scam you. It's always going to come down to you sending them some money. It's always. So if when you're in question... If they start asking you for money anywhere in that DM chain, anywhere in that email chain, if they start asking you to send them money, you know that's a dead giveaway that they're a scammer. 
because they're going to always ask for the money at some point. They'll try to win your confidence, have a couple little back and forth with you, you know, try to get your confidence, win you over. But at the end of the day, they're crooks. So they're going to always come back to what they know best, which is asking for money because they're lazy and they're sorry and they're parasites and they can't make money on their own. So they scam people. They're going to always come back to that. They're going to always come back to asking for money. I promise you. And that's the dead giveaway. As soon as they ask you for money, that is the dead giveaway that they're a scammer. Right? So if you just keep that in the back of your, and not in the back of your mind, in the front of your mind, if you just keep that in the front of the filter system, if they ask you for money, I don't care if they lead, what they lead with, they will ultimately somewhere in that chain of conversation, they will ask you for money to invest for you. Somewhere along the way, they're going to come up with something. Have you heard about this crypto thing? Have you heard of, which y'all know I didn't really talk about crypto. I don't even really invest in crypto like that. So why would I slide into your DMs and start talking about crypto when I don't even make really any of my videos about crypto? One out of a thousand videos I've made, I probably got four or five crypto videos. And those videos are basically talking about Shiba Inu and, and Doge. <laughs> That's it. So just be careful, guys. See, a lot of us, we, we're so anxious for someone else to save us when someone comes into your DM pretending to be me, you thinking that got to be him. He's going to save me. No, no one's going to save you. You got to save you. I don't save anybody. I provide information. That's it. What you do with that information is on you. I don't save people. I save me. That's it. I just provide information. It's up to you to take that information and save yourself but you can. See, what we do is we, we look for other people to save us. We look for other people to bail us out. Well, I don't know much and he knows a lot, so let me let him do it. I'll send him the $1,000 and let him control my financial freedom. But what happens is nine out of 10 times, they're ripoff artists. So when you send them that money, poof, they disappear. Then all of a sudden, you can find me because I get them all the time. Then people can find me like it's easy as Two plus two. <laughs> they can find me then. As soon as they get scammed, then they can find me. Whether it be on Instagram, whether it be through email, they can find me then. I'm saying to myself, well, why couldn't you find the real Richard Fame before you got scammed? But all of a sudden you got scammed. Now you can find the real Richard Fame. Why? Because see, they block them. This is what they do, especially through Instagram. Once they scam you, they block you so you can't, you can't contact them. So then you're searching around looking for Richard Fames and then you find me. Oh, here's the real one. I can't help you guys after that. There's nothing I can do about that. All I can do is warn you in every video at the beginning of the video. So if you're listening to the videos, then you'll know. Richard Fain don't ask people for money, not to invest for them. If you want to hire me for my financial consulting, which is through my company, that's different. But that's an email conversation we have. But I don't ask people for money to invest for them in nothing, period. So please be careful. Please, please be careful. Thank you, guys. I appreciate y'all rocking with me today. I'm getting ready to get on out of here. Um, I, I, I just, I just want to make sure, guys, that, that you understand you control your financial freedom. Please know that. And, and these videos are about me just trying to give it to you straight. I know some people can't take that. It's too much for them. And they, 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 they don't watch anymore. And that's okay. But, but I got to do this my way. See, I'm not going to be on here just uh, sugarcoating things and you thinking everything in the world is just peaches and cream when it's not. I can't do that. I can't do that anymore. I don't want to be just some YouTuber on here uh, chasing the popular topic and not telling you the truth according to me, how I feel about it. And that means I'm going to lose some people, but that's okay. I only want people that want to rock with me. I don't want anybody watching my videos who, who, who ain't sold on getting to their financial freedom. If they don't want to get to their financial freedom, don't watch my channel. Because that's all I'm going to talk about. 
That's it. Every day. That's what I'm going to talk about. Financial freedom. How to get there. What's going on in the world. How you use what's going on in the world to get you to your freedom. That's all I'm going to talk about on this channel. Nope. I ain't going to talk about nothing else. Every now and then I might throw in something. But for the 99% for the of the time, this is what we're going to rock with. This is what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about real estate for income. We're going to talk about stock market, paper assets. What's going on with paper assets? We're going to talk about how to build businesses. We're going to talk about what's going on with the economy. We're going to talk about what's going on with interest rates and inflation. And the only reason I have those conversations so that you know how to position yourself to invest. That's it. I'm no expert in any of those areas, but I know enough to be dangerous. I know enough to be able to say, look, guys, Fed getting ready to meet. Here's what I think is going to happen. Use that to your advantage. That's the reason I make those types of videos. But the most of the videos I'm going to make is going to be about mindset and changing the way you think. Because we learn from repetition. We learn from hearing something over and over and then all of a sudden the light bulb comes on. We don't learn anything when we listen to something once. Most of us don't. I don't. I got to listen to it four, five, six times before I can get it. That's how most of us learn. So I know that. That's why the videos that I do are the way they are. If you don't like it, don't watch the channel. I don't know. If you don't like the titles, don't watch the channel. Don't click on them. That's all you got to do. I, I, I never could understand why people complain about stuff that they have control of. <laughs> you got control of your finger. Or, or do your finger got its own brain? So it can go just click on what it wants to. Your brain up here, the big brain, don't got no control over your finger. No, it does. So why are you complaining? You clicked on the video. I didn't ask you to. Oh, I came into your DMs and sent you an email and said, hey, buddy, I got a new video up. Please go watch it. No, I don't do that. So if you don't like the video, don't click on the video. Erase my channel. Block me so that it don't come up in your, in your feed. That's all you got to do. It's pretty damn easy. But see, a lot of people want to complain because they know the truth hurts. The truth hurts. Or they hate to see somebody doing what they want to do because they can't do what they want to do. They haven't paid the price. They're too afraid to go do what they want to do. So they hate to see other people who are not afraid do what they want to do. We got a problem in our country with that. A lot of people over here scared to death to do what they want to do, but they get mad at somebody else because they're doing what they want to do. <laughs> but you're scared. You got the same opportunity, but you're scared. You're afraid. Stop being afraid. Stop being scared and go chase what you want to do. Then you may not have to worry about criticizing somebody that's doing what they want to do to help people. Oh, the video title. I did the title. Who cares what the title is? I mean, who cares? It should be the message, right? Who cares what the thumbnail looks like? Who cares? But that's, that's the world we live in, man. That's that matrix. I keep telling y'all, boy, that matrix got a hold of y'all, man. A lot of y'all in that matrix, and y'all can't help yourself. The first thing you talk about, you ain't coming here to learn nothing and get nuggets. All you care about is the title. All you care about is the thumbnail. <laughs> Damn what's inside the video. <laughs> All I care about is I want to criticize the title. That's that matrix, man. You got to get yourself out that matrix, man. These people got you to the point where you just don't do nothing but complain. And complaining is just, I ain't going to even tell you what I feel about that, but we'll, we'll, that, I'm not going to go there. Well, appreciate y'all, man. If you want them 15 free stocks from Moomoo, again, Moomoo is the brokerage app that I use to buy my paper assets. It's not something where you send me money and I do anything for you on Moomoo. Don't work that way. It's a brokerage app. It's a self-directed brokerage app that millions and millions and millions and millions of people use every day. I'm one of the millions that use it to buy my paper assets. SPLG, FTEC, Magnificent Seven. If you want up to 15 free stocks, when you open the account, you put $100 in the account, they're going to give you five free stocks. If you put $1,000 in the account, they're going to give you 15 free stocks. Why would they give you free stocks? Why would they even give you anything when you open the brokerage account? 
Well, because, guys, that's their incentive to get you to open the account. See, they're not one of these big old gigantic Wall Street uh, top five brokerage firms where they can, they can go on mainstream media and, and pay billions and billions of dollars a year for commercials. I'm the commercial. I'm the guy who they come to who has an audience and they say, hey, Richard, try our app out. If you like it, would you mind sharing it with your audience? That's what they do. Right? That's how they do their marketing. They don't have marketing budgets to pay billions of dollars to some mainstream media channel uh, stations or, or news channels to be, get on there. They don't. They use influencers like me. I like the app. I use the app. So I share it with my audience. All right? And they pay me a referral fee. Nothing wrong with that. It's a small referral fee that they pay me. The key, though, is I use the app every day. That's the key. So if you want to rock with that and be able to have a self-directed brokerage app that you can use. Another good feature I like about Moomoo is, is they have in-app tutorials. So if you sign up for Moomoo and, and you want to learn more about the stock market, you want to learn more about paper assets, you want to learn about different ways to invest other than traditional investing, they have tutorials inside the app that will teach you or give you the basic stuff you need to know about those things. I mean, who else does that? Right? So if you want to rock with me and use the same brokerage app I use, go down to the description box, click on that, me, that Moomoo link, open up your Moomoo account. Like I said, if you put $100 in it, they're going to give you five free stocks. If you put $1,000 in it, they're going to give you 15 free stops, stocks. And we've talked about why they give you the stocks. That's their way they're incentivizing you to try out their app. They're okay with that. It's just marketing, man. That's all it is. Why would they give me free stocks? Is this a trick? Is it? No, it's not a trick. This is a marketing campaign. People do this. Companies do this. Not just Moo Moo. Companies all around the world give away stuff so people could try their product or service. It's not unusual, guys. Stop getting hung up on that. The key here is get your brokerage app that you can start investing your money and in buying paper assets to build wealth. That's the key. Don't get hung up on all this other crap. Hang your hat on a brokerage app that you can use to build wealth, that has in-app tutorials to help you learn so you become a more better investor. That's what you hang your hat on. Go down to the description box, open up the, this, that Moomoo account, and who cares what country they come from? See that? See? See what I'm trying to tell you? Matrix. See, that's the matrix. I don't, give, I don't care if it comes from China, where it comes from. I don't care where it comes from. See, that's how naive we are when we're in the matrix. Do you understand that China has the second largest economy in the world behind America? Do you understand if there is no China, there is no America economy? We are tied at the hip, you idiot. We're tied at the hip. I tell you, man, we always, always matrix, though. See, you can tell anybody in the chat in the matrix, you can tell they're in the matrix. Worrying about all the wrong stuff. <laughs> Just worried about all the wrong stuff. Forget to understand that they're still governed by the same brokerage firm rules any other brokerage company that operates in America. They're still governed by that. Oh, they're a China company. Who cares? Who cares? I don't. If you do care, don't sign up. Pretty simple. If you don't care, listen, don't sign up if you care. That's all I can tell you. For me and the ones that want to rock with me, hey man, the link's down in the description box. All right, guys, if you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing, share the video, smash the like button. Thoughts become things. If you can see it in your mind, you can get yourself out of the matrix. You can hold it in your hands. 
You guys keep chasing your greatness. Never stop believing in yourself. Stay healthy. Get wealthy. And we're going to catch y'all on the next one. Peace.